What up world is a brand new day. Today, these right here. I'm gonna review test on these Air Jordan mid tops ones, riding bikes. Technically a review would probably be me like riding the bike for like a month, riding my bike with a month and all that stuff and like test it out and all that stuff. But unfortunately we don't do that around here. We don't have enough time because we have a lot of videos to do. But uh, yeah, I always rode the Dunks. The Dunks were my favorite shoe. I've never had the mid Air Jordans. I used to rock Jordans, but not never the mids to ride in, especially. So uh, yeah, I think these cost. I think these cost me eighty nine dollars, and but I know at some skate shops and stuff they run like one hundred and ten bucks and all that stuff. But uh, fortunately, we have an outlet store here in Long Beach, so got the plug on that. I wear a size nine. Let's see the let's see the, um, the insole. I like the Dunk SBs a lot too because they're pretty much made for skateboarding and BMX riding. So like this right here, like this is very, very thin. The, the sole is not that reliable yet. We'll see, test that out. But they feel amazing. They feel like cushiony. To walk in, these are like the best shoes ever. You guys probably know that, but uh, to ride in, that's a test. It's gonna be like a normal vlog, but I'm gonna be reviewing the shoe the whole day and see how it's performing. But yeah, this is literally one of my favorite, favorite looking shoes, so. Jordan did not send me these. I don't know Michael Jordan. I don't know really anybody at Nike besides some of the BMX riders. And I paid my own money to buy these shoes, so I'm gonna give you an honest review. It's gonna be a day review. Te like technically shoes get worse and worse as you ride them, but yeah, today, the day one. I'm doing a review today. Air Jordan mids, the ones. Ah. Let's get the day started, let's go. Meet up with Harkis. We're gonna head to like Bellflower area. We're walking so far uh, in the shoes, you already know it's Nike. So Nike has the best technology, one of the best technologies in the shoe game. So walking around automatically feels great. But these are the these are the Jordans, you know. We don't know too much about riding in them. I don't know much, but uh and also right here we got the visual bike stickers. Look at that. Thank you, Fuad Epic, for hooking it up. I'm gonna be sending those out. At the end, uh, I think Tuesday, Tuesday or uh, tomorrow or Monday, I'm gonna be sending these out to you guys, and that's gonna be then the raffle. So make sure to see when you see this video. So this video is probably gonna upload tonight. Uh, we are. I'm gonna be doing the giveaway on the first. On the first is when I'm gonna announce a winner, and I'm gonna be mailing out all these stickers tomorrow and the next day. So make sure to go to wemadeavisual.com and buy your stickers right now and enter to win and just buy one because. And also, hopefully buy. By midweek, you guys are gonna be able to buy Stranger and Primo from my website. So all you will have to do is go to wemadevisual.com, my signature Stranger Zia stuff, my Primo Richter stuff, and everything that's on my bike pretty much. So every part that I run on my bike, you're gonna be able to buy from wemadevisual.com. So you guys can order from me. Metal Harkis. Harkis Rocks. The Janowski. Are those Janowskis? Yeah. Yeah, see, those are Janowskis. I got the ones on. So what do you think? How do you feel the Janowski's? Ooh, when you get those? I got those today, dude. Man, we're even testing fresh. them. We're doing a test today. Oh yeah? Yeah. Have you All ever right. rode in Air Forces? No, never. The Jordan one? No? See, that's why. See, a lot of people ride in, like a lot of BMX riders ride in the Janowski's, but I haven't seen anyone really in the Jordan mids, the ones. Yeah, so I don't know. So that's why we're doing a test to let you guys know. I'm trying to do shoes that nobody really rides in because, you know, I test them. But what do you feel of the Janowski's? I like them. I just like low tops and slim shoes, so I feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I cannot run really small shoes just because like I get ankle bite or I get crank arm bite from that and it hurts my my foot. I'm weak. I'm not I'm not built like Michael. But uh, yeah, we're here at the skate park real quick. Get a little quick session. Try these shoes out for a little bit and see how they feel. Just did my first first run in them, and like the insole actually how thin they are they actually are really really padded so far this is my first run so we'll see if that changes at the end of the day but so far the super souped are coming off how are the Janowski's are the Janowski's pretty soft yeah they're uh they're loose so I mean they're comfortable they're not too like tight or too like loose yeah but they uh when you first buy them are they really soft yeah they really feel like they're broken in yeah you don't have to like yeah yeah, let me, I gotta, oh yeah, before I do this, I wanna see the, the stretch test. Let's see how, if they even, 
if they fold. Yeah, it'll seem like you have to break them in. We'll see. Oh yeah, it's really stiff. The toe, yeah, the middle ain't gonna fold. So yeah, it's stiff. If you like a stiff shoe, this is it. I, I like a very, I kind of like the feeling of shoes like it's an ankle protection. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable like, yeah, just the less, whips. yeah, all that. I don't do whips, but if you do tail whips and stuff, this is a really good shoe so far, so far. All right, so I'm gonna do 10, I'm gonna do 20 foot jams and see how they look after that. I think I might have did 10 to 11. I lost count, getting dizzy, so I think I'm halfway done. 10 more to go, I'm gonna do 10, 10 more foot jams. or 21 foot gems down oh, I missed a couple but it doesn't doesn't take away the fact that I, my foot went in there let's see no marks at all good all right so now now I'm feeling that thick that little that little insole I feel like it's gonna be after riding a week with it it's gonna be too thin so you might might want to get some new insoles for these because it I actually do kind of feel my crank arm that's the only downfall so far and also this uh this 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 piece right here the high top when i do foot jams and stuff oh shit my mic's coming off doing foot jams and i pull back it's getting stuck in my crank arm because it's puffing out a little bit so maybe i need to tie my shoe a little bit higher and make it a little bit tighter around tighter around my ankles that's the only downfall so far but it's feeling great i feel secure all right lace my shoes all the way up to the top they feel way more sturdier. They don't look as good, but this is kind of more functional or fashion right now. And that's the test that we're doing. I hate tail whips more than anything, but to be honest, I, I wanted to show how it felt without landing a tail whip. I wanna like see how hard I could hit my leg without the pedal actually hurting and like the crank arms. But this padding, the padding right here, goes really high. So you, this is literally my favorite shoe to tail whip in. I hate tail whips because it hurts so bad, but these shoes would literally be the shoes I'd do tail whips in probably all the time. The only downfall on them, and if you land crank arm, downfall, I'll try to show you guys right here, right there. You, if you land on crank arm, that's gonna that, that's gonna be really bad. It's gonna hurt really bad because this this part right here should actually be a straight. It would be ten times better if the if the shoe didn't curve in. It'd be way more for your pedal. But other than that, best tail whip shoe for me personally. But if you land crank arm or something like that and you land on your side, this is gonna hurt really really bad. So that's that's a downfall. All right, so I've been drinking tea and hot chocolate all day. I haven't had any water and my muscles are tripping out right now. And I think I might have thrown my back out. God damn it. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this video, which is very, very, very depressing. So I'm gonna try to stretch a little bit. And I didn't stretch before riding. Ah, this sucks so bad, but I'm gonna try, try and try to get my back a little bit better, but it hurts really bad. Um, it's, it's official. I, I threw my back out. I'm not gonna be able to finish this video. This is very, very depressing. I pinched a nerve in my back. Oh, tail whips, man. I hate them. Not only... I should have stretched. I, I messed up, so I'm sorry, guys. I, if you guys are out there, stretch for your ride. I don't... I'm going to have to go to the chiropractor. I haven't thrown my back out literally in, like, probably three months. But I pinched a nerve or something like that. I got to... You guys are going to be seeing the ne next vlog from the chiropractor. But I'm going to chill for a second. But it hurts so bad. You got to take over the vlog now. You got to take over the video. We got to go film you now. All right, let's go do it. 
There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, it hurts to laugh. Oh, my God. Whoa. Damn, next if you don't do it right here, you owe me 20 push-ups. Right here. No! 20! Get down and give me 20, boy! For reals? Game. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Too much games, dude. Did he break the bike? Did he break the bike? Yo. <laughs> My head broke it. Just get up and do it. Go, let's go. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, I did 63 in a row yesterday. There you go, let's go. Switch ice, 180, right here. Yeah, I almost knocked myself out. I know. Imagine. <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. Oh. The gains are too much or too less? I think it's too much. Too much gain? I can't maneuver sometimes. God damn. Oh. No. All right, all right. You can do 10. 10 right here. Wow. 10 push ups. Fine. 10. All right, all right. You got it. There she is. Moving on, next trip. Crash. <laughs> nah, that was good. We're moving on. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Mike was talking about doing a vlog at the gym. If you just start vlogging, gymming, his gym life. I don't, I don't even know how you say that. Gym vlog? Is that how you say it? Gym? I, I don't know. Leave in the comments right now if you guys want to see Michael start a YouTube channel where he goes to the gym and does all that stuff. Maybe some training videos. Leave in the comments. You guys gonna be the new subscribers? Yeah. Hell yeah, we got <laughs> subscribers. We Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You wanna drop in for the vlog? Uh, sure. Here. Yeah, new subscriber drop in. Hey! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to that family of dad bringing out his daughters. Oh. Nothing makes me more stoked than seeing females like skate or do cool extreme sports other than like the normal basketball, softball, whatever. So if you're a girl, you're watching this, don't be discouraged to be a skateboarder, bike rider, whatever. If you want to do it, just go out and do it because clearly you see the youngins, whatever. And even out here in California, there's so many females that ride bikes and skateboard. So if you're in a small town, whatever, who cares what the guys think, whatever, just have fun, get a skateboard, get a bike, whatever makes you happy, do it. Do not get discouraged by dudes or males or whatever you want to call us. So yeah, shout out those new subscribers. All right, we're rolling out the skate park. I gotta go home. Gotta go home. Go lay down, go take some CBD because clearly my session got ruined. Throwing out my back, pinching a nerve. <sighs> Unfortunately, I messed up my back, as I probably said like a million times, but uh, yeah, for the review of these shoes, I'm probably gonna just use, reuse this footage in like a month, and then we can see exactly how these shoes end up holding. But as of so far as I said, this right here, the bottom, it's a little bit too skinny, so for tail whips and stuff like that, your crank arm's gonna hurt, which actually it kind of started hurting, so I did land right there. It's so, cool. Yeah, it ends up giving you like a little weird bridges. A little too small for me personally, but uh, I think this shoe, if it were to be straight, I'm flat footed, so I think if this were to be straight, it would help a lot, a lot. So I think that's why I like the straight shoes a lot, the ones that I was riding before, because they have a straight a straight sole instead of the curve. But yeah, I mean, the feel and everything, they're they're actually thinner than I thought, actually thin for riding after a couple days, I believe, for me personally. So I would get a brand new sole. I, I was, I'll just ride it normally, but yeah. So brand new sole and these shoes, fire. But we'll see in the next month of me riding, I'm not gonna be able to ride for probably a week because my back, so I'm gonna have to go to the chiropractor and fix my bike. I'm gonna fix my bike, fix my back. But uh, yeah, I mean, feels great. Jordan 1s.